for anybody to move. Inflammatory is saying, I've been camping, and comparing that to homelessness, that's inflammatory right there, sorry. Okay, thank you. It's important to stress too that this is more in the emergency shelter model than the tent camping. The tents are here as emergency shelter, but what we're trying to do is create emergency shelter situations that actually are gonna help us take the weight so that so many people aren't relying on that camping. Because we understand that camping is not a good solution for folks. So this is a way to use a tent as an emergency shelter. That would be the thinking around that as opposed to this being tent camping for us. That's my understanding of what they're trying to do. So this people doesn't fall like under this. the safe sleep policy. No, it doesn't. Okay, thank you. People like this. Any other Shut questions? Shut off the camera. You have yes. an idea who I am. You live um, in I have a couple of questions. Yeah. Sure. Um, one guys is, uh, why did you choose to set up on this property instead of using some of the bank owned properties that provide more shelter, have been vacant a long time, and would be safer for the women that are out here than being in the open and only a few feet from major uh, corridors for their victimizers coming in and out of the unsafe areas in Lentz? Okay. Um, I, I live in the Lentz neighborhood and I think of it as not an unsafe place. I know we're working towards it being even safer. As a community member, I like the fact that this kind of thing will be happening. We have security at night that Advocacy 5 is paying for from 8 at night until 6 in the morning, okay? Walking around this perimeter. Um, we are here. Nobody will be left alone at this camp. Either an agency member will be here or at night the an agency member and security guard will be here. So I think of this as a very safe place, you know, that the Max is right here, Lentz is right here, it's a great place for them to get all their work done, to hop on a bus, to do all of that. Um, I don't know about the bank, I, these were just areas that were already kind of on the city scope for possible building sites. Okay? That's it. So, so your you second one? Explore those options? Uh, I didn't have time to explore those options. This is a, this is a necessary need right now. Okay, so uh, one of my other questions is, when the cameras were out here yesterday and the news was out here yesterday and they were interviewing everybody, why weren't any of the places in Portland who desperately need funding to provide more stable, secure shelter for these people and uh, more services than what can be offered in a tent in you know, a somewhat outlying neighborhood mentioned so that people watching that could go, hey, you know what? You're right, there's a ton of homeless women here. They're at risk of being victimization. You know, I'm gonna donate to Monica's house or Raphael House or Volunteers of America to open up more that conversation, housing type beds for those people. That conversation will be had. Today we were just talking yesterday we were just talking about the model, why it was here, and to dispel any rumor of this and to, to keep them the women who who were here safe. Okay, I only have two more, I swear. <laughs> Make only two, only two. Um, one is, has your agency worked with these women to help them file police reports so that we can try to get these um, perpetrators off the street because they're not just a danger to homeless women, they're a danger to women who live in Lent. Absolutely, and I think I answered that in my beginning statement is that's why we created this model, okay? So that they are here and they are safe and they, they can become ready to, to, to start that process, okay? Out on the streets, they don't start that process.